It's archaeologist Dr. Andrea Zieblance's belief that Herxheim became a ritual destination, where Europe's Stone Age farmers voluntarily turned to the gods for help, offering up a bloody ransom. The, the important point for me is that it is a ritual. It's not a normal meal like, oh, Sunday soup is an uh, arm of my neighbor today, you know? Everything is destroyed for a certain reason. It might be that every village just said, hey, we have this great crisis. The gods don't belong to us anymore. They don't hear us anymore. This crisis might be so um, terrible for them that they go to this drastic, you know, end of the whole thing and say, we even have to consume our dead, which we killed for as, as a sacrifice. People all over the world have sacrificed other humans to the gods so that disaster wouldn't strike. Perhaps the best known cases of human sacrifice in the name of cultural survival come from the Aztecs. The Aztecs killed and offered blood to the sun for one reason. If the sun winked out of existence, they knew they were dead. Mexican codices illustrate victims laid over a stone, their hearts ritually cut out, and skin carefully removed. The human skin cloak was then offered to Xipe Totec, the god of spring, in exchange for a year of plentiful crops. Did Europe's ancient farmers willingly pay similar homage to their gods by sacrificing their own? Or could they have been the spoils of war? time was first excavated in 1996. The huge cache of bones led archaeologists to imagine it was a ceremonial reburial site. A practice known among ancient societies where the dead are dug up, dismembered, defleshed, and put into a mass grave. In such rituals, there is no tradition of cannibalism. But when anthropologists Dr. Bruno Boulistan and Dr. Anne-Sophie Coupe joined the team in 2008, they requested that all the human remains from previous excavations be cleaned of lime deposits and sent to their warehouse in Angoulême, France. Only then did a carefully orchestrated pattern of violence emerge. They cut the lips off, scraped their faces off. It's not something we do to the skull of an ancestor or someone close. These are things we do to the skulls of enemies, or at least to people that aren't part of your own group. To Bulistan, this means a small band of raiders attacked distant settlements, captured prisoners, and brought them back to Herxheim to be ritually killed, butchered, and consumed. History tells us that this is not uncommon practice. It's called exo-cannibalism, and the definition is to eat humans from outside your community, usually your enemies. <laughs> 